you're experiencing a few issues with your iPhone 5C and diagnose the problem as the logic board, you've come to the right place. Because today, I'm gonna show you how to replace the logic board in your iPhone 5C. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair, you're going to need an eye slack, a pentalobe screwdriver, a Phillips triple zero screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, plastic opening tools, a spudger, a semi jack tool, and tweezers. I already have the majority of the tools I need in my ProTech toolkit, so I'm ready to get started. When you do your repair, make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com. Not only does it walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it, which is extremely helpful. First things first, I'm going to make sure that my phone is completely powered off. And once I've confirmed that, I'm gonna get started opening my phone by removing the two screws down by the lightning connector. With those screws out, I'm ready to open up my phone. To do that, I'm gonna use this tool called the ice clack. If you don't have an ice clack, you can use a combination of a small suction cup and a spudger or an opening tool to pry the phone open. Using the ice clack is super simple. Just position the suction cups right over the home button and open the handles. Once the suction cup is fully engaged, just press the handles together and you'll have an open phone. Now that we have the phone open, we can move on. But keep in mind that the display assembly is still connected to the logic board. To get it completely off, we're going to need to disconnect all the cables, but before we get to those, we have to remove the cable bracket, which is held in place by four Phillips screws. Make sure you use an organizational tool for keeping track of your screws. They are incredibly small and can vanish easily. I'm using one of our magnetic mats, which holds the screws in place, and I can also make notes and keep track of where the screws come from. And there are all those cables. To disconnect them, I'm gonna use the flat end of my spudger. With the display assembly free, we can move on to the next step, which is disconnecting the battery. Even though our phone is powered down, it's a good idea to completely disconnect any power sources before continuing any repair. The battery connector is located right below the battery connector bracket, which is held in place by two Phillips screws. To disconnect the battery, we're going to use the flat end of our spudger to lift the cable out of its socket. Make sure you're prying the cable connector itself and not the actual socket. Next up, we'll get to work on removing the SIM card. Removing the SIM card is as simple as inserting a SIM eject tool into the SIM card tray. With the SIM card out, we can get to work on all the cables that are connected to the logic board. A small piece of tape may obscure the logic board grounding clip, so use a pair of tweezers to remove the tape. There are a total of seven screws holding the logic board in place. And to remove those, you'll need both your Phillips bit and a small flathead bit. Thank you. 
Now that all the screws are removed, we can finally get to work on the logic board. Using the plastic opening tool, gently pry the logic board up and out of the phone. But there is an antenna cable that is still attached to the logic board on the underside. So before you try to pull the board all the way out, roll the board over and use your spudger to disconnect it. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse. And if you're in the mood to see a reassembly on video, check out the iPhone 5C reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. And you can give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.